Good evening, world. This is Nelka again, and I am going to answer one of the requests of our subscriber tonight. This is uh, my previous video, and this is about uh, facade lighting in Photoshop. This is not about Evo now, but okay, we will do this presentation a combination of Evo and Photoshop, but more of with Photoshop presentation. So this is from KN Jadzi and he said that um, Nelka how lighting effect picture for fine line of man can be extracted for using in Photoshop. I'd like to know your way of doing that. And he said again, I changed my mind. I, it would be great to see the video with your workflow. <laughs> so yeah. So okay, then I will answer you now KN Jadzi you are so excited to find out how to do that but before that I would like to inspire you with one of my project and I hope you will get inspired and okay let's play it now enjoy watching I can't help but to talk please while watching I need to talk my mouth can't stop talking so yeah can you see that up lighter there uh, in front of the stairs the two stairs facing each other that is the one I am going to show you okay if you can see now the mouse right now the mouse right now this is the one I'm referring to but okay let yourself absorb this presentation this um, presentation is done in PowerPoint but this images is edited in uh, Photoshop because the client only gave the client gave me picture only um, I, but yeah but I think he gave he gave also the CAD file for the BOQ because he wants to know where it is located and how many fittings are, are needed so, but I did not use the CAD file for lighting design. I use it for BOQ. And wow, see, this is amazing. I love my work. Sometimes, you know, if you're a lighting designer, sometimes you get fall in love with your own design. <laughs> sometimes that is my problem. And if it's not ordered, it's really, it's, it's hurting. <laughs> but you have to get used to it. You may think that your your job is not good, but it's not that. Sometimes it's about the price. So, yeah, the price of the fitting or the price of the total project. So, yeah, but it's okay. Can you you, you will get used to that? So I'm showing now the luminaires that I used, and the sample projects that we have, and side by side with the effect in Photoshop, and the description of the fittings and the dimensions. Of the fittings or the drawings and that's it and the presentation thank you so um yeah <laughs> what's your name again okay and that's it I'm not promoting my company now you know where I am working and I'm not sure if they allow me to show this project but it's um, three years ago already so I think it's uh, it's fine so yeah it's not about my where my company or where I work it's about what I can share to you that is the most important right so let's go and let's find out how I did this project I would like to show you this one if you can see this up lights see this part if you can see it here and then there will be up lights after that see that one this is the one I'm going to show you. This is the one I told you that you can get the effect of dialogues and use it in your Photoshop. 
so the same photometry and same effect you can get and then apply it into your Photoshop presentation okay it's better to show it than say it let's go okay I type facade in Google and I found this lovely building this is a Nighthawk cinema facade fabrication uh, please permission to the owner of this image but I'm going to use it in my presentation right now so yeah go to Google and check for any image that you like or if your client send you this the image for your project then use it and then let's save this one now no sorry save us and let's go to the desktop and say this Nighthawk facade and say OK okay so I open now the dialogs file and the Photoshop for facade lighting let's go now and double this picture for a while so we can have our original and the one what, that we're going to edit and then for dialogs um, dialogs Evo we will open a file let's go and have our ground first and let's put an object say a cube and let's create a wall let's imagine we are creating this wall okay now we have our wall this wall this is the one we're used we're going to use for our uh, photometric creation and then from here we will get a photometric file and apply it to any brand but if you want to know how to get these app lights from the manufacturer go to this tab it's another lesson lesson and for example you know some f uh, companies or brand then go for it and find some something that maybe they have right now I'll go for torn and then just wait for open it once you clicked it yeah go for the outdoor click this one and of course go for the recess architectural flood lighting and select for an up lighter let's select this round one and then click this one and it will go automatically say open it will automatically go to your see it's here now to your file and um, yeah so the 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 app lighter is now ready and let's go to the plan view and place the luminaire in the middle make sure that it is properly aimed and yeah properly recess on the floor and then let's go and recalculate and then there you go and then properly align your image like this make sure it's perfectly aligned the edge okay then save it and then save image go and save the image go to the desktop and say this is up light we will use the same effect to our Photoshop creation okay now let's go to the desktop and open that one and there you go now this is our app lighter so make sure you crop it properly leave that luminaire make sure it's on the wall we will create a brush using this um, photometric effect go and control L make sure the difference of white and black is fully emphasized and then say OK and now you have the photometric of uh, one app lighter and then uh, let's invert this image go to the image and uh, adjustment press adjustment and then invert and then it will be like black and white the majority now will be will be white and then go to the edit and define brush preset let's say yeah this name is applied JPEG let's say okay now we have applied here you can see that the brush changed now into something right okay if the effect is not that good which I think it's not that good you can do and enhance your picture like this I will show you how so um, select all the picture and go make sure the ledge is not included and then add this one because it's part of the facade this one also okay ledge is not included now and then 
cut or so copy if you like oops and then select that one go to the filter and then render and then lighting effects and go for the up lights lights up and then oh don't be amazed that you're going to use this one because what I'm trying to show to you is how to use the uh, real photometric from from dialogues but if you're okay with this one then so be it so see this one is an, a wrong effect so what we're going to do is properly place it because the brush that we created is not that much good they say okay now you have your uh, somewhat if the, the alignment is not correct then adjust it again control Z and then, then go to the filter again and then render until you properly place the fit things it's so small so your eyes will get tired easily so you have to make sure that you have a 2020 <laughs> vision <laughs> when you're doing a Photoshop lighting there you go and see okay so my ah now I know now I know now because my I hate you Nelka you know because my see this one this is gray I should have a white light that's why it's I'm getting crazy okay I did not notice that one all right let's delete this one now this is wrong because it's gray and then delete and then let's create a new layer and then change this one into white click the arrow and swap it or this one and then swap it make sure you have a white color or if you want a little wi warmer then go for it yeah so or blue if you like then you can also do that but for now let's have a warm white color and then go to the brush B and then select the the one we created which is this one see it's here and then OK and then reduce the size of the light and then say there you go uh, yeah okay there's still that's so good <laughs> I think the photometric is not right I mean it's not nice and then maybe you can reduce it and blend it there is an option here we can you can do overlay overlay no don't follow that one <laughs> this one only reduce it a little all right no don't and then um, if you want to use this one or this one okay I I'm not sure how to show it to you properly but that is so and then if you want to light the window let's go and light the window go and uh, select it just press M or this one and then go and select it and then add make sure this this little tab is press the add tab and select let's just make it fast so maybe you will fall asleep okay then okay and then let's go put it up here and light it up now light your window you can do it here or you can do it individually like this select one window make sure you selected the window tab okay let's label it window and then go to the filter and then render and then use the floodlight and then select a little warmer color from the color tab let's make it wider so it will cover everything okay yeah and then say okay now there you go and then select and then oops press this one control D and select this one and then control F control F F 
if you don't want the window all the windows to be open it's fine let's keep it like that and then this one control F this one control F and this one control F then let's make this one as a little dark yeah because it's closed <laughs> okay the curtain is closed but we have to light the frame here like this if you notice that there's a frame and there will be oops there will be spill light f coming from from the bottom so this should be lighted properly okay control L and then increase it yeah so then deselect okay I hope this is fine so if you have comments so this this will be the total effect of the facade now you have your up lighter from the photometric itself um, and also now you know how to do it in Photoshop okay you can see that there will if you select the light there's some spill light coming from here so you can also delete it that one if you like by pressing the light and then control and tab this one and then delete have you noticed the difference yeah all the spill lights to the glass is gone yeah I can see it here so you can do that or yeah if you like then go for it so <laughs> that is for now I hope you learned something and um, it will um, it will again take another time to show you some technique on how to create uh, the beautiful facade lighting using Photoshop because it's really time-consuming for this project I think I consumed um, two days to prepare this project and then one day for the presentation one, one and, uh, two and a half days almost half day for the presentation and then two days to prepare and select the fittings because sometimes you need to check your products if it's really powerful enough to reach up to the top so it's not just making it beautiful you have to properly select the product because otherwise you have the beautiful presentation but you don't have the correct fitting or luminaire for that so it's just a waste of time your salesman cannot sell it <laughs> maybe he can sell your design but he cannot sell the product so it will be useless because you don't have the right fitting so yeah that's it for now if you have more questions just um, send me a message and then I will maybe <laughs> answer again your question okay good night bye